Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and to my brand new series, The Disney Bartender. Ah. So today I'm going to be starting this brand new series. I'm going to be doing this series in order with all the animated movies. So starting with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, working all the way up to the newest films and I cannot wait. If you guys do like this series, maybe I'll come back after I do all of these and do like the villains, the heroes, princesses. These are really just based off the movies themselves in general and I'm really, really excited to do them and have some fun making some Disney drinks. I think that these drinks would pair very well with the movies. I've done a lot of research into them. I have a few picked out already, but basically since I am a trained bartender, I also want to take this time to talk about some of these alcohols and to talk about the movies as well and to kind of educate as we make some delicious drinks to watch our movie with. So we're going to start today with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. cocktail is very simple to make. It just requires a few ingredients. So the base of this recipe is going to be Laponia, which is a Finnish liqueur, liquor, I don't know which one. And I thought this one would be perfect because obviously Snow White is very well known for making gooseberry pie in the movie. And so this is made from cloudberries, which are from Finland and grown in the Arctic regions. Obviously Snow White is based off of the Grimm Brothers fairy tales, so it's not exactly Exactly spot on, but I did a little research and found that you can also get a cloudberry, or not sorry, cloudberry, gooseberry gin if you wanted to try with that. And if you can't find Laponia, you can also do vodka. That's another substitute. But this specifically is a little bit sweeter and has a little bit different taste. So I would definitely recommend this if you can get your hands on it, but it is a little bit hard because you do have to import it from Finland. So let's talk about a little bit about Laconia, which is called Laka Liqueur. It's Finland's sweetest secret according to the manual.com. Cloudberries are wild berries found in the wetlands and tundras of the north northern hemisphere particularly in the arctic region it's praised highly in nordic countries they're featured on certain coins in finland and cloudberries have a more low-key reputation in alaska canada greenland and japan it's an orange fruit that looks a bit like a blackberry and a raspberry combined and if they were shrunken down cloudberries are loaded with vitamin c they have a bittersweet taste with a mouthfeel that grows creamier as the berry ripens these berries find their way into jams and desserts so they're using a lot of different things in these regions. <laughs> it says at various stages of ripeness, the berries are handpicked for different uses. By steeping cloudberries in neutral grain alcohol for two to six months, Laka takes a sweeter, almost floral approach compared to the herbal aquavits of the region. After soaking in oak barrels for months, natural sweeteners like honey and spices like cinnamon or clove are added to the alcohol. With different harvest and soak times, the handful of Laka distributors out there yield slightly different results. The popular Laponia Laka will give some subtle berry notes. All three of the different kinds that make are made with cloudberry have a 21% alcohol volume and it says that most people just typically enjoy it chilled. We're gonna make a little cocktail today. Going on to Snow White. So Snow White of course was the first full-length animated film from Walt Disney Studios and it had a 1.49 million dollar budget and brought in eight million dollars at the box office so obviously a huge success that was during its initial re release but now over time it has accrued over 418 million in the box office it briefly held the record of highest grossing sound film at the time this is uh, according to Wikipedia by the way Snow White was nominated for best musical score at the Academy Awards in 1938 and the next year Walt Disney was awarded an honorary Oscar for the film. Of course, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs stars Adriana Casaletti and Lucille Laverne as the two main roles of Snow White and the Evil Queen. And it was written by Ted Sears, Richard Creerden, Otto Englander, Dick Rickard, Earl Hurd, Meryl Damaris, Dorothy Ann Blank, and Webb Smith. This movie came out in 1937 and is 83 minutes long. Let's get into the cocktail. So you're going to need some Laponia liqueur, like I said blue carousel cranberry juice a shaker lots and lots of ice a highball 
and for garnish, a couple of slices of lemon, as well as some baby's breath flowers. This recipe is really very, very simple to make, and I just made it a few minutes ago. It tasted absolutely delicious, so I'm so excited to share it with you today. You're also gonna need a jigger, because this is not a jigger, it's just a shot glass, but um, yeah, we're using pretty precise measurements, so I'd recommend a jigger if you have one. So this drink is very important with the uh, ice, because we are going to be layering this drink. So make sure you have plenty of ice on hand in order to make this drink look as beautiful as it is. If you don't have ice, that's fine. It's not going to look as pretty, but it should still taste delicious. So first off, we're going to pour one ounce of the Laponia liqueur. This drink is very, very floral and fruity and it almost reminds me of like a perfume is kind of how it smells. I can definitely get the hints of oak that they were talking about earlier. It's really, really good. Okay, and then you're going to do two ounces ah, of cranberry juice. In your shaker, you're gonna to wanna to put some ice. You really just need a couple of proofs. And in your highball, you're gonna to want to fill this as densely as possible. You're gonna to wanna to pack the ice in there. All right. Shake this baby up. And you're just going to pour over your ice, giving that first layer of red that we know and love from Snow White. And now I'm just gonna dump this out for the next layer. So for the next layer, you are going to need another ounce of the Laponia. So it's a two ounce cocktail, which is pretty standard. And we're gonna mix that with an ounce of blue curacao. Everybody always makes fun of me for how I say curacao. How do you pronounce it? Curacao? <laughs> Every time I say curacao, people think I'm weird. I don't know. So again, it's one part liquor to two parts of cranberry in here to one part, one part liquor and blue carousel in here. This one, you don't even really need ice. You can if you want to make it a little cooler. But I'm really just gonna oh, shake the two of them just to get it well combined. And here you're going to pour very, very slowly. You do want the blue to go towards the bottom. It's going to push the red towards the top. So you'll see it slowly happening on the camera. The blue is coming to the bottom and the red is coming up top. And I have a cut on my finger and it's burning from touching those lemon wedges. And then finally, to finish it off, you're just going to top with a little tiny bit more cranberry. And voila! To garnish, we're going to put our two lemon wedges in honor of Snow White. And to make it even more beautiful for the fairest one of all, we're going to put a little bit of baby's breath. I love when garnishes are edible, but come on, the baby's breath is just too beautiful. <laughs> Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoy and I will see you on the next Disney Bartender series. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below to see more Disney inspired drinks and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys and cheers.